In this video, we will learn how to generate type 2 beta error graphs in relation to control charts. In Excel, we have the sigma shift listed right here. It increases by 0 0.05 each time in this example. And on this axis, we have the increase in sample size n, and in this example, it increases by 2 each time. To start off, open your developer and add this function. Ignore this one. Add this function, this shift mult function. If you need to pause the video at this time to read the function, please do so. Then save. And we will implement this function here. We first type in this formula right here. The negative 3 is in relation to the lower bound of the control chart and the positive 3 is in relation to the upper bound of the control chart. That is what these two numbers here are for. It says norm.dst shift molt our function, then it grabs the upper bound, the number of sample size, and the shift. Then the mean is 0, standard deviation 1, and it is cumulative in this example. Then minus norm distribution, shift mult, the lower bound, the number, the shift, mean is zero, standard deviation one, and it is cumulative. Drag this formula all the way down to three sigma shift or whatever you need. And the graph shows up here. I already have um, added this data to the graph to save time. And then you simply do it for all of your lines. All right, here's the uh, graph of the beta error. All right, thank you.